Anytime you see two numbers, one on top of the other, separated by a line, you've got yourself a fraction. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to show you what fractions are, what they look like, and also how to state their name. Now, take a look at the top number. It says 4. But we don't call it the number on the top. We don't say the top number. We say the numerator. We give it a name. It's called the numerator. And the number on the bottom, that 5, we don't say the number on the bottom is 5. We say the denominator is 5. And denominator is easier to remember because, look, it starts with a D. D is for down. So from now on, I'm going to say the numerator. I'm going to say the denominator. And, and uh, I expect you all to remember it. That's important. You've got to memorize this. Memorize it. So now we're going to move on. We're going to say, okay, what do these two numbers actually mean? What do they mean? To do this, you've got to start with something, an object. It could be a pizza. It could be a cake. It could be an eraser, whatever you want it to be. But you have to break it into parts. And the parts have to be equal parts. They have to be the same size. Once you do that, take a moment and count these. You've got one, two, three, four, five. Five. Look at my denominator. It's also 5 because the total number of parts is my denominator. So if there were 6 pieces, if I broke it into 6 pieces, I would write 6 on the bottom. If there was like 3 pieces, I would write 3 on the bottom and so on. Now the number in the top tells me how many of those pieces I have to select. Now why would I select them? I would select them. If it was a pizza, I'd select them to eat them. Okay? And uh, you get the idea. We're just going to select them for some reason, for some purpose. So the number of pieces that are selected. I have to select four. It doesn't really matter which four, as long as I choose four. And I did it. This is four out of five. This picture here that I have, this fraction picture, is four out of five pieces. Now, how do we state fractions? How do we say their name? If I have one over four, I don't say one over four. I say one-fourth. You always put a TH at the end. See, they have TH, TH, TH. There are some exceptions. I'll, I'll look at, I'll talk to you about those in a bit. Now, our denominator is four. So I need to show four pieces and I have to select one. Which one? Doesn't matter. Next one, we don't say two over six. We say two sixths. And then put that THS at the end, two sixths. So denominator says six. I show my six pieces and I got to choose any two of them. I have to choose any two. doesn't matter. That's two sixths. Now moving on. I'm going to go down to this one first. Three over five. We don't say that. We say three fifths and then you end up three fifths like that. And then you got five pieces and you're going to choose any three of them. That's three fifths. Moving on, we got seven eighths. So how many pieces do I break this into? Do I seven or eight? Denominator, right. You got to break it into eight. And now we could choose any seven. Now these are the exceptions. Two and three as a denominator are the only ones that you got to break the rule. Three, you don't say one third. You don't say that. You say one third. Always. If it's a three on the bottom, you call it a third. If it was a two on the top, you would say two thirds. So we need three pieces. We've got to choose one. And then this one here, if it's a two on the bottom, you call it half. So one over two is one half. So we need two pieces. Select one. Now let's play a game. We're going to look at what's a fraction and what's not a fraction. To be a fraction, all of the pieces have to be the same size. They can't be close to the same size. They have to be exactly the same size. So is this a fraction? Well, let's see what's under here first. Ah, okay. Ooh, I feel like a seven up all of a sudden. So we have fractions of equal parts. They have to be, are these all equal parts? Yes, they are. So we can go in the fraction box. How about this one? Are they equal? One, two, three, four, five. Are they all about the same size? I think so. Yep, we got it right. How about this one? Or, no, no, definitely not the same size. Look at this. This is a little triangle. This is a big one. They're, they're all different. How about this one? Fraction or not a fraction? Yeah, it's a fraction. How about this one? Yeah, probably not. See how big that bottom piece is compared to these two? 
How about this? Is this a fraction? I think it's pretty good case for a fraction. How about this one? Probably not. And this one, definitely not. They're all just, they're all weird like that, so we can throw it in this box. So now we're going to look at a couple examples. You try them, see how well you do, if you understand it or not. So we have, what is the denominator in the fraction? What is the denominator? Tell us about a fraction. Go ahead and write your answers down. Okay, so what is the denominator in the fraction? You should have written denominator is this one. I'll put D for denominator. It's the 5. And what does the denominator tell us about a fraction? What does it tell us? It tells us the number of total parts there are, how many pieces there are all together. Here's another question. What is a numerator? What does a denominator tell us about a fraction? Go ahead and write your answers down. Okay, numerator, you should have picked that one. I'll put an N for numerator. What does a numerator tell us? Simple. It tells us the number of things that we have to choose. That's an important word. Choose or select from the total. Joe said that the shaded diagram represents a fraction with a numerator of 6. Is Joe correct? Explain. Think about this one. Write your answer down and then check it in a moment. Okay, assuming you did that, it says Joe said that the shaded diagram represents a fraction with a numerator of 6. Okay, let's see here. We have 1. Now, numerator is how many you select. Remember, numerator, how many you choose. In this picture, we've chosen 1, 2, 3. We've chosen 1, 2, 3, the green ones. So, unfortunately, Joe is not correct. Numerator should be 3. The denominator, though, is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The denominator was 6. He got it all backwards. So Joe tries again. He colors two tiles on the following diagram and said that the denominator for the fraction is 2. Is Joe correct? Think about it. Write your answer down and then come back in a minute. Okay, so what did you do here? We have Joe color two tiles. He said the denominator, I'm going to underline that, it's important. He said the denominator is 2. Well, denominator is going to be how many we have all together. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the denominator. He chose 2, so we write that on the top, and we have 2 over 5. That's what Joe should have written down. He got it backwards again. He said that the denominator should have been 2. No, nope. denominator is 5. Here's where people mess up fractions. They do this. They look at a picture like this, and they say, oh, okay, we have 2 that are pink, and three that are white. So it must be two-thirds. Mr. M, I got this. It's two-thirds. Two over three. No, it's not two over three. You see the problem with two over three? Two over three says we have three pieces all together, but we don't. We have five. 